in your STEM baggies that were sent home or that you were given in class, you have a penny. For today's activity, what you're going to do is you're going to take this penny and you are going to roll it on different surfaces or you can slide it. So you're going to take your penny and you're going to roll it on a hard countertop. So it could be your kitchen counter, it could be your dining room table, it could be your desk in your room. It could be your floor if you have hardwood floors or linoleum floors. So you're going to take this penny and you're going to slide it and roll it across that surface. You're going to do this three separate times on that surface. So if you have your coin, you're going to put it flat on that surface and you're going to kind of make an okay sign and flick it along that surface. So you're just observing how far your coin travels on your hard surface as you flick it with your fingers. Then you're going to take your penny and you're going to slide it or roll it across a different type of surface. If you have carpet in your home, roll it across carpet. If you don't have carpet, roll it across your bed. There's fabric on your bed that will behave similarly to how carpet might behave. Notice which roll produces more friction. Is it when your coin is slid or rolled on that hard surface, like my kitchen countertop or my linoleum floor, or is it when it's slid across something that's the same texture or consistency of a carpet or of a rug or of a blanket? On your Schoology STEM page, you also have a document to accompany this activity. It's called your Schoology Friction Document. And if you click on it, it's a Word document that you should be able to edit. You are going to be recording your results on this document. This is the document that you will be using to record your data or your results from your experiment. After each trial or each flick of your coin, place a check under the column where your coin traveled farther. So if it traveled farther on the hard surface, you would put a check under hard surface. If it traveled farther on the soft surface, you would put a check under that column. If for whatever reason you are unable to physically write on this document in Word, then do so on a piece of paper with a pencil. So just record your data, your results on paper, and then you can take a picture of it and post it into your Schoology page. The last thing you're going to do for this part of today's assignment is answer the discussion question, which reads, which of the two coin rolls produced more friction? And why do you think this is? So when you rolled your coin on the hard surface, was there more or less friction between your coin and your floor than when you rolled your coin on your softer surface, such as your carpet or your towel or your blanket. Why do you think these results were as they were?